Okay, this is uh, the slow tutorial um, how to merge two structures together. Um, the first time I did this tutorial, I kind of did it really quickly and I kind of did too much. So, this is the slightly easier to follow version. Right, so what we're going to be doing here is show you how to merge two bases together. Um, you cannot do this on a multiplayer server um, because the last command. Only available in creative mode. But I'm going to show you all the commands here. Um, so, we're going to be merging this tower. Uh, you see the tower's got a core um, with the main pod of the base. Okay, um, we need to make sure that um, you can see the base is powered there. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, in our design that we've still got doorways and everything that are clear. And um, here you can see I've marked out with the um, hazard tape where we're going to join up the two buildings. Those two blocks are going to actually uh, touch each other when we're finished. All right. Please apologize, uh, my architecture, it's just something I built for this demo. Okay, uh, one of the things you want to do uh, if you're doing this for the first time is find a planet where there is good light and where there's a lot of flat ground so you don't mess with terrain. Uh, Omicron is really good for that. Alright, let's get started then. Okay, so you open up the console and the first command that I'm going to show you is debug info or DI. You can see a little tooltip appears at the top of the screen. Um, the first two lines is your player ID and location. Uh, and the bottom two lines is the ID and actual position, current position of the structure that you're pointing at. Notice how you have to be reasonably close to the structure. Um, standing on the structure also helps. Okay, so you can see over here I've created um, kind of a card that shows you how the coordinate system works and um, what I've done is I've oriented this card north, south, east, west correctly um, so that the um, coordinates, you only need to move things uh, in one, one direction at a time because uh, if you build at a slight angle, you'll end up having to nudge things in two directions at once. And that makes it a little bit complicated. Um, so, how this all works is you can see that's my X, Y and Z coordinate. And um, the coordinates are actually kind of taken, height is taken from midway through the character. Here you can see we um, show you how the coordinates um, kind of work. So the character is standing at 750 and minus 250. Uh, it's really convenient if you stand in a place that's kind of in the middle of the coordinate system so that you don't end up with crazy big numbers or with tiny uh, negative numbers. Um, if you're near the equator it gets a little bit uh, crazy. All right. So I'm um, just showing you how I rotate the, um, the map card that I've created here, so you can actually see the ro how it rotates. So that's the set rotation command. You want to rotate uh, each building <coughs> uh, right at the beginning before you start. Because otherwise you run into the same problem with um, having to shift things ever so slightly on two axes instead of just one. Okay, so we remember the coordinate where we're going to put the building, okay, 750 and then height 75 and minus 250, and we're just going to If you've got a good memory, you'll remember the coordinates and you'll remember the, um, the IDs of each building, okay. Okay, so we're going to move the main pod first, and we're going to put it. We're going to just center it over the location that we're interested in. Put your 
disappear and reappear behind us. This card is just an example of how it's useful to have an idea of where you want the two structures to approximately meet up. It needs to be a bit of flat ground. That's in the middle of the card, so I'm going to move it a little bit. And it also needs to be rotated. So, it's the set rotation command. The only interesting part of the command is the second digit, which is the uh, rotation around the Y axis. Okay, so now we've got it perfectly lined up, and we just need to move it off of the center because we want actually to uh, meet up in the middle over here. So let's quickly shift it back a little bit. Over here, you can see height, for example. But that's far enough. Okay, so let's grab our tower. I've already forgotten what its ID is. Let's just move close enough. There we go. What's an ID? Eight. And we don't want it to actually be in exactly the same position. We want it to, uh, to be. A little ways, and there we have it. Okay, it's not close enough. We can fix that. See how it's landed uh, on the coordinates as I've indicated on the card. See, I've moved it up a little bit now. You're going to end up typing in the set position command quite a number of times. And you'll very quickly get used to approximate distances as well. So you're not going to get it right as quickly as I'm doing here because this is probably the fifth or sixth time I've done this kind of thing. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate it as well. You must try and rotate everything uh, quite early on in the movement stage. Now I do need to rotate it another 90 degrees, which is easy enough. It's just because the original orientation of this um, facing direction of the core was a bit different. So here you can see we need to move it 2 meters off away in, and then 6 meters back. So let's go and do that. meters back and two meters right obviously you want to be in god mode when you're doing this um, just so that you don't struggle okay uh, surprisingly that actually landed exactly where we wanted it um, normally it's a lot harder to get uh, these to line up uh, and it takes a couple of goes. So I'm not going to take credit for getting that right. I put that all down to the uh, card that told me exactly how far I had to move things. Okay, you'll notice that the base is kind of half obscured through the ground uh, and that's because the uh, card is actually uh, about a meter kind of higher than the uh, bottom of the base. Right, I think we're ready to start merging these two buildings. Um, double check that you've got everything exactly as you want it before you merge because you can't undo it afterwards. Okay, I'm happy with the positioning over here. So all the commands, you can type help uh, in the command name, um, and I'll give you a bit of a description here. You can also see in the description, um, there's a note about the set position command. I didn't know this, but you can use a coordinate and, um, and the word offset with plus and minus. Um, 
to actually nudge things in one in one or the other direction. Uh, so that's also useful to know and experiment with. Uh, okay. So the merge structs command takes two parameters, the parent or the main item and then the child. Um, the core in the child will be deleted at the end of the merge. Okay, so you want to specify the, uh, the pod first, the one where you want to keep your core. Um, notice the set position command, the help on it is not particularly um, clear what's going on, but that's the X, Y and Z coordinate. Right. So the merge structs command, you have to run the command twice. The first time you run it, it actually um, does fine rotation adjustments and fine positioning adjustments for uh, to bring the two pieces uh, so that they are actually lined up and they will actually join. Um, but because we kind of pre-rotated and got everything exactly on a decimal, um, they're lined up. Okay. So, if we hadn't, uh, they would have moved ever so slightly at this point. Okay, so we're going to call the minus EX flag, which will finalize this. Before we do that, I'm just going to show you uh, what is going to happen. You can see the tower has got no power. Uh, it's got a core. Yeah. Now that core is going to disappear when we're finished. Okay. There you go. Bada bing, core is gone. Uh, there's even a little space where the call should be, which is a bit overkill now, but you'll also notice that the lights came on. Yay! Bases successfully merged. Okay. Um, the base will actually have the, the name of the main uh, pod, you can see there, main pod, aha, very creative naming. Um, and that's pretty much how the merge structs come on works. Um, you now know how to use the rotation and set position commands so you can actually move the space a little bit and um, I hope you enjoyed that. As usual, like and subscribe or just tell me what you thought really sucked about it. So thank you and goodbye from Zafodicus.